Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Day two of Vlogmas. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. But yeah, basically today is um, a makeup tutorial. This is how I do my makeup. Sometimes I change it up depending on the weather, depending on the day, how I'm feeling, if I need all this makeup on. But today I'm gonna do a full face. There's some things that um, I do and some things that I don't. My steps are different than someone who is a professional. I'm not a professional. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned and I have my makeup bag. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna use this Revlon Color Stay in the almond color and have my beauty blender, it's really dirty. Also, once again, if you hear noise in the background, there's a lot going on. So yeah. So I try not to put too much, like maybe two pumps. Some here, here. Then you start blending. Hold on, yeah. I need to get my mirror. And also, since I'm staying in the house, I don't put it on my neck because I don't want it to get on my clothes. So, hopefully it's coming out okay on camera. But yeah. Should I do like a QA and a or something? Like, what should we talk about? Because it's just so quiet. Hmm, what should we talk about? Ooh, should I talk about why I quit my job? Let's talk about that. Okay, so I did put up a vlog saying that I got a new job and I was so excited because, you know, I was thinking a lot about going back into retail because I used to work retail, but then I quit and I told myself I'm never going to work in retail again because also, if you see like a black shadow, I burned my face like a while ago and just it's, now it's a black shadow. So foundation works, guys. But but yeah, I, I, I told myself like maybe I should get back into retail and maybe I should, you know, get back into retail. Let me see if, you know, maybe I was too young to say that I didn't like it. And automatically people in my family were like, absolutely not, because they know me and they know I don't do that. Like, they know I don't like retail. And they're like, no. So I just listened to myself and I was like, I'm just gonna try it because like I said, um, I wanna see if I like it or not. Spoiler, I hate it. So next one I'm gonna be product I'm gonna be using. Guys, I suck at this. This is like my first official makeup tutorial. Milani concealer. This one is okay, but if it dries out a little, so I have to put setting powder on it. So yeah. But yeah, I applied for a job at Kohl's and I was excited because the interviewer was so freaking nice. Like, I was like, okay, if this lady is this nice, then bet I wouldn't mind working here because you know I'll do it but I was in for a rude awakening because it go it, it, it it's it's bad so yeah um I think that's how you do it I seen it on TikTok so I'm copying it so yeah I apply interview goes great it's a phone interview and boom, I got the job. Literally two days later, they gave me the job. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know, I need some experience before I get, you know, my dream job that I actually want to do. And this would be a nice experience. So I was excited because I'm, you know, getting experience. It wasn't a job that was going to be permanent. It was literally going to be temporary. So 
I was really excited. And about like officially a week and a half later, I was able to come into work and do an orientation. So I do orientation and it's going fine. But I, I noticed, and I don't know if this is how the workforce is, but a lot of the employees do not talk to each other. And I was like, oh, y'all don't mess with each other? Like, should I be concerned? But it's, it's just not that. Like, everyone was new and everyone was there to work. Because when I started working, I didn't talk to anyone either, if I'm being honest. So, start my first day of work. And actually, after training, oh my gosh, I think I put too much on the bottom. Look at that. After training, I started officially... No, after orientation, I started officially training. And... They had me working, boy. So I work, I, I work, I do training for like two hours, I go home. Then my schedule comes out and then I have um, another schedule. And that one went pretty good as well. Um, it was really chill. They had me doing inventory. I was mainly doing inventory and Omni. So Omni is basically where people who order online, they get their package, their stuff that they ordered from the store. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Guys, it's gonna get better, I promise. And you get ready to ship it out to them. So I'm like, cool. That was easy for me. I knew how to do that. Like, I didn't mind doing that for the rest of my time there because that was something that, you know, I was familiar with. Like, I knew how to do it. So the third day is what really got me. I have morning duty. So basically, I hope the lighting's not bad. Like, can you see this? Whatever. I have truck. So when you have truck, you're loading the truck, you're putting the clothes in the right zone, um, and you're going fast. It's a fast paced um, job, so I'm doing it. But before I do it, my supervisor that morning is this lady, and I can already get a vibe from her because I went in the morning and she literally eased me up and down about what I was wearing. The dress code was a black shirt and some jeans and that's what I had on. So why am I being eased? So why are you easing me? You look like a hater and you look wrong. But obviously I didn't say that because I was like, okay, maybe she's been here all morning. You know, maybe she's not, you know, in the best mood. So I let that slide because if I was there all morning, I would kind of be in a grumpy mood too, but whatever. So she leads me to the back and she basically tells me, explain the duty that I have to do in three seconds. So I'm already looking at her like, ma'am, I've never done this before, so I'm not gonna get it in three seconds, but she did not care. So we're doing it, she's getting an attitude. She's um, like giving us looks and I let it slide because I was like, like I said, she probably had a long morning, but I kept note in the back of my mind, like she has a stink attitude. Like, girl, no, that's not cute. Get it together. Like, it's never that serious. If you don't like your job, quit, period. Because if I don't like a job that I'm doing, I'm quitting, period. Like, so literally I had that shift on a Friday. Saturday night, I had to come in from 10 p.m. and leave at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'm like, oh gosh, like, who gave me the shift? I already asked them not to give me a shift that would interfere with Sunday because Sunday I go to church. That's all I asked for one day off and it was the day I go to church, but whatever. So I come in and it's the same lady. She's sitting at her desk. She's like, come here. I'm like, I'm here. She's like, oh no, I got makeup on my shirt. I need to write down what you're wearing um, for the night shift. And in my head, I was like, I don't know if that's normal, but okay, go off, I guess. She wrote down what I was wearing. She was like, what color are your shoes? Beige-ish, I guess, whatever. So she's like, okay. She starts off a little, I'm not gonna say nice, but just, cordial so this is what I don't like when I have a job because in my last retail they told me everything I have to do they were patient with me 
they helped me. And every time I would go into work, I knew what I had to do. But for this one, they always had to switch it up. And then they gave me like baby tasks because the older people didn't want to help the new people how to do the task. And to me, it makes no sense because what's the point of saying, oh, we need more, you know, we're hiring, we need more people, but you're not even wanting to help anyone. So that's where I got annoyed because it's like, why am I here if y'all not gonna even help me? So we go in the inventory room. She's my supervisor again for the night. The worst attitude because I, I, I'm I following her around like a lost puppy. And I don't like doing that. I don't like following people around because I look like following people around. Exactly. So then at one point I get tired of following her because she sees me following her. And I just stop. I stop in the middle of the room and I stop. She leaves the room and she goes back to what she's doing, like completely disregards the duties that I'm supposed to do. So I'm just standing there looking around like a lost puppy. And at one point an employee's like, do you need me to grab so-and-so's name? We're gonna call this lady the Grinch. Do you need me to grab the Grinch? And I was like, I don't know who that is because at the time I didn't know anyone's name. So she was like, follow me, follow me. And this employee that was helping me, super duper nice super nice like she needs a raise i love her super nice so then i come back in her office she, and she's like oh yeah oh yeah so she's like walking around the inventory room once again but this time i'm not following you like i said like i'll follow you when you have the task ready because i don't look like anyone's little lost puppy like tell me what i need to do I, it's embarrassing everyone's already doing their job and i'm i look like i'm following you and i don't want to follow you because you have the worst attitude i don't need to be following you so eventually she puts me in a corner in inventory she's like for now I'll just open these box with these box cutters and put them on the thing so i'm looking at her like okay that's gonna take me five minutes so when i'm done with this test i have to go back to you and get another task. Like, I don't work like that. Give me a whole bunch of stuff to do and I'll do it. Like, I can handle it. I'm not a, a child. And I feel like people get misled too because they think I'm a child. But I'm literally not a child. I'm an adult. Don't let the face fool you. Like, I'm an adult. So, my gosh, why do I? Is it the what? I don't know. I don't even know how this is going to come out. It's probably talking about this mess and it might come out cute. Look. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, um, where was I? So as I mentioned, I literally was telling myself, just go really slow so you don't have to talk to her because I can already tell off the bat she had attitude. So, I kid you not, I was opening the boxes like this. because I was making time pass. So as I was going slow, 30 minutes passed, and I go looking for her. She's in the inventory room. I tell her, by the way, I'm done cutting the boxes. And she, I kid you not, she gives me this look like, and ignores me. So in my head, I'm like, girl, you wanna play that game, I'll play too. So right, I pull out my face as I'm walking, my face, I pull out my phone while I'm walking away from her. And I start texting my sisters and I don't know if I'm gonna put the messages in there or not, probably not. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I literally told them, yeah, I'm quitting today. Um, I don't have to put up with this. This is just for, you know, experience. I could get another job. Like, it's really nothing to it. So they're laughing and because they know how I am, they know I don't play that. And they know I'll quit a job. One thing about me, I'll quit a job. I don't care. I'm like, you're not going to treat me any type of way and think it's cute and think you can get away with it. So I forgot to mention that I'm not the only new hire there. It's a bunch of other people there that are also new hires. So we're all on the same boat. We don't know what's going on. No one wants to help us. So we have to basically figure out stuff ourselves or when we ask for help, we're getting yelled at. I am grown. Why am I getting yelled at? If you think as a boss 
as a supervisor that the way to get to an employee is to yell at them, you need to quit your job because that's not it. You won't find the right one every time because who's putting up with that? Nobody. So, oh, gosh, I'm still taking order from, from this lady. She eventually comes, because um, she sees me on, on, on my phone, because I'm sitting in a visible area where she can clearly see me on my phone, so you can give me the next task. So she sends an employee over, and I have to help this employee re-rack the clothes, like basically restock the clothes on the floor. So in my head, I'm like, why don't you guys tell me what to do and I'll do it rather than be someone's little assistant? Like, I, I, I can help me, but they're so, they're too busy thinking about perfection and they want the store to look perfect so they don't have to clean it after. But the whole point of a, of a job is you're supposed to help people, especially the new people, especially if you want people to stay here for long. Like, it's weird. It's weird. So I'm helping this girl. She's really nice. And I just look pathetic at the end of the day. Like, I'm just standing there like, while she's trying to figure out stuff and I'm just like, the pay is not worth it. It really wasn't. So at one point the supervisor comes back, the Grinch comes back and she's like, do you know how to do Omni? I'm like, yeah. Like I give her such a dry response. I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, go do Omni. So I do Omni and she's like, you know how to do it? Like she always, she kept asking me if I know how to do it. Yes, I've been here for three days and someone who actually cared about teaching me taught me how to do Omni, so I know how to do it, love. Like, go back to your little hole you crawl out of and leave me alone, period. Like, I'm sorry. And guys, I'm not saying, you know, I'm saying that's how, this is how my thoughts during the time. So, then I'm doing Omni. And if they tell you, you have to get something from inventory, get something from inventory, because sometimes it's not on the floor. So I'm going upstairs and this lady is watching me. For someone who have a stank attitude and don't like talking to people, she is sure left to watch people. So she's like, where are you going? And I'm like, oh no. She's like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going to inventory because this, you know, the zebra, they call it a zebra, is telling me to go to inventory to get this product. So then this lady looks me dead in my face. Hold on, let me try to fix this. I don't care if it's broken, I ain't waste my money. She looks me dead in my face. I kid you not, me, a grown woman, 25. I'm not grown grown, but I'm old enough where we can speak to each other as adults. Look at me in my face. Um, to avoid getting yelled at with a straight face, to avoid getting yelled at, whenever it tells you to get something from inventory, you go straight to inventory. And while she was saying that, I give her this look like, and I go upstairs, cause who's gonna yell at me? I dare you to yell at me. I basically gave her this look like, yell at me then. So I basically give her this look like, I want you to yell at me and I walk away because like I said, I've been doing this for three days. I, I know what to do. So I go back to inventory and I'm coming down and she's just like giving the new kids this look. She wants nothing to do with us. And in my head, I'm like, so why, why, why did they put you as supervisor? Like, and she acts so fake around the bosses. And it's just so funny to me. So it's, it's so annoying, but whatever. So while I'm doing Omni, me, this is another um, new hire that's there. He comes back from his break. I haven't taken my break yet, but he comes back from his break and he walks past by her. He don't like her either. And she says something to him. I don't know what she says, but then he's like, oh, excuse me. I don't know what happened, but he was like, okay, well, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I was so happy because I was like, finally, someone need to stand up to this stink. Ooh, this rude. Like, I'm trying to keep it cute, but yeah so the lady's like excuse me and the boy's like you've been giving me giving me attitude all night and i don't like that but he was like what is your problem blah 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 couldn't really hear because i tried not to eavesdrop but i was trying to listen she was like i haven't been giving you attitude 
And then he's like, yes, you have. And then she was basically trying to soften her tone and whatever. So he walks away and he gets back to doing his, his job. And I was just so happy at that moment because I was like, period, like read her to filth. She's disgusting. Her behavior is disgusting. Like, ew. How miserable, miserable do you have to be for no one to like you? Well, maybe the veterans are gonna like you because they're used to your BS. Maybe some of them are scared of you, but I'm not scared of you, ever. So, I take my break. So does the boy again. Like, this time has passed. I take my break, he takes his break. So basically in the locker room, we're both talking about her at this point because we've had it. Like, imagine going to work from 10 to 6 a.m. in the morning and it's the morning, like you can be sleeping, but we all go to work and we're all tired. Maybe she's been there all day, but that doesn't excuse you for treating people like absolute garbage. So he was like, I'm reporting her to HR. She has the worst attitude ever. And I don't have to deal with it. And I was like, if you report her to HR, we'll back up everything you said. And I even told him, I will report, I will, oh, that's not bad. I will report her to HR as well. And he was saying, she, he, he said that the reason why she acts like that is because she's from New York. I don't care if you're, if you're from New York. I don't care if you're from Compton. I don't care if you're from the hood. I don't care if you're from the Valley. You don't talk to people like in a rude tone, like ever. It's not okay. It never was okay. It was never cute. Stop, like, it's not cute. And you need to stop. I definitely messed up my nose, but we're gonna pretend like I don't see that. So we go back to work. And he was literally talking to me while we were working. He was like, now she's trying to kiss my butt and be nice to me and help me with my duties and blah, blah, blah. And he literally could care less about her. He was like, I'm still reporting you to her. And me and him were just like, cracking jokes about her because she's just, she's rude. Like if you're rude, no one wants to be around you. Like, so, during my uh, during my shift, she's still saying little comments. She was walking behind me. I tried to hold the door open for her. She was like, just keep walking, keep walking. And I'm like, girl, like, ew. Like, what happened in your life to be this disgusting? And so she was like, put stuff in, um, cause when you put stuff in trouble, that means they have specific employees have to go get it. She's like, if you can't find it, put it in trouble. I put it in trouble. You need to let me know when it's in trouble because I'm not gonna know. But you did know because you just came to me and, and you're looking for the item. You look dumb. Like, you look, it's embarrassing on your on your behalf. So, it comes down to 30 minutes left on my shift. I'm so excited. I'm ready to go. Like, I am ready to go. I know it's my last day. Like, I don't tell anyone that it's my last day because I barely know these people. I don't have to tell anyone anything. And I'm ready to get out. I'm ready to leave. So I have nothing to do. I'm just dwindling my thumbs. Eventually, I start pulling on my phone because at the end of the night, I'm over her and I'm over her attitude. And she's like, clean up your area. Go clean up your area. And I'm literally ignoring her at this point because, yeah, I'm trying to change how I am, but I'm not perfect. Like, I'm going to talk back. Like, at the end of the day, I'm going to talk back. So, I'm just ignoring her. I'm doing it when I want to. Because it's my last day. I'm going to do whatever I want at the end of the day. And I know this is not professional, but I don't care. If you're going to have employees like that in your workplace, I don't need to keep it professional. Because she hasn't been professional all night. So, yeah. Um, like, it makes no sense to me. So, I'm getting ready to leave. The, our shift finally ends and she's like come into the office come into the office i need to um write down what you're wearing and in my head i'm like i'm literally wearing the same thing like i didn't leave the store with any of your vera wang any of your sonoma any of your nike like don't nobody want 
your overpriced clothes when I can get the same thing at like TJ Maxx for $10. So whatever, I get in my locker, me and the boy are over it. Like we're over, we're literally standing at the door. And before we go to the door, cause it's obviously the morning time now. So the alarm is the door, the, the store is closed. So before we go to the door, she's like, do not make the alarm go off because I don't want to have to hear the alarm. So me and him, we're just looking at each other and we're like, do we even open the door? Because I don't have time to hear her mouth. We're about to go home. Like me personally, I was like, I'm not trying to cuss her out before I go home. Like I'm trying to go home and go straight to bed. So there's employees that are coming in the morning shift now coming in at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. And we're leaving at 6 a.m. And there's everyone one employee standing in front of the door and we're just like, we can't open the door. So the main manager, which is the guy comes out, the boss, this time I know this lady be being fake around her boss. He comes out, he's like, you guys can open the door. You guys are employees. And then I literally said, yeah, but I don't want to get yelled at. And then she was like, yeah, they're scared that they're going to get yelled at. And I looked at her like, ew, ew. The only thing I regret not doing that day was putting her in her place. But I felt like since my other friend there, I don't know why I'm calling him friend. I literally knew him for one day. But me and him always have the same shifts. That's the crazy thing. He, he, um, he put her in her place, so I didn't need to do it. But it's crazy because during, while I was doing my duties, I was asking other employees, is her attitude always this disgusting? And they were basically laughing it off. They are like, yeah you know and i'm like i don't know anything because i'm not putting up with this like y'all can put up with this but i'm not putting up with it y'all must not know no mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. not me so i'm looking at them like sayonara like i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and let this miserable 40 year old lady you know like ew girl ew so um, oh my gosh, I forgot to completely list the products. Guys, I'm putting blush now. I don't really know where's the right place to put blush. So I just put anywhere, but I use a lipstick as a blush because I don't know how to find blushes. So I get home. I take a nice long sleep. She made me miss church. Like, oh, I miss church because of this horrible shift. Did, did that come off? Oh gosh, I hope that didn't come off. And why didn't why, why, why I forget to put the freaking blush? Whatever. I miss church, so I'm sad because you know I like going in the morning. So I sleep in and I call my job the next day. That horrible place I call it. And I said, I explained to them everything. And I said, I'm quitting because of the Grinch. I said her name. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, we'll definitely talk to her amongst the, the boss. And I was like, yeah, you need to. And I will be reporting her to HR. Um, she's horrible, her attitude is horrible. She's to leave. Like, there's absolutely no way anyone would put up with her disgusting behavior, anyone. And I know she's faking it. She's trying to pretend like she's this nice woman, but you're not, she's not. You can only hide how disgusting you are for so long. Everyone's gonna start seeing your, your mess. So he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm, I reassured him to let him know that all of the other staff was amazing. She's the only person. It, she's the reason why I'm quitting. I was specific. So I don't know if they talked to her, but I will be doing a follow-up email to make sure she's out. And if I don't do it, that's fine, but I'm gonna let, you know, I'm not gonna let, I, I don't wish nothing bad on her, but it's like when bad people like that, oh my gosh, what did I do? Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down. Calm down, calm down. I completely wiped the makeup, makeup off my nose. I just feel like y'all need to get her out of there. Like her attitude is disgusting. Who's putting up with that? As an adult, no one has to put up with that. So 
so I left. No regrets. I slept good that night too, knowing I left. And that's just that. That's why I left, guys. Like, I just feel like a lot of people, and I get that, you know, to a certain extent, everyone's not like me. You know, everyone needs a job because everyone has kids. Like, what is going on? Do you guys see that? If people have kids, they have to take care of. Let me know who's the beauty blender. Let me use a brush. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. And, you know, like, I'll have crazy bills to pay. Like, I'm leaving this job. I'm a fun, better job. Like, no. Absolutely not. Y'all can't put up with Grinch, but I'm not putting up with it because I'm not going to lose my, you know, integrity or whatever people call it. I'm not going to step out of character. I completely messed up my makeup and I'm annoyed. So I will not looking, be looking like, ew. I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Here. I'm gonna just stand far away from the camera. I hope I fixed it a little bit. I definitely did it. But yeah, that was my story. You know, that was my first time I ever quit a job ever. I never quit jobs because you know, if the pay is good and if the people are good, of course I'm gonna stay longer. Like I'm not gonna, you know, but. I was, I did not care. Like, I do not care about the money. If you're treating me like trash, I'm out. I do not care. The pay wasn't even that great. Like, it really wasn't that great. So, yeah. So, lesson learned. And sometimes you need a, that lesson needs to be learned. This video is so long. I think I fixed it, but I'm gonna stand far away because I don't want y'all to come for me. I don't even know if my makeup looks good on camera. Yeah. Anyways, let's do the lips and then we should be done. But yeah, guys, I don't really put a highlight on. I don't know, I just feel like I kind of don't need it. So I just don't use it. I have not been sharing any of these products that I'm using, but I will be using the What Wet and Wild Simma Brown Simma Brown Now. That's cute. Lip liner and the Mac Bad and Bare lipstick. So yeah, actually, lip liner first. Like, and and anyone has is going through what I went through and. You know, you have that one coworker. Do not be afraid to report them to HR. Do not. No one like that needs to be. Hold on. No one like that should be allowed to work with people. Like work alone. Work remote, you know. Oh, I actually did a good today. Period. But yeah, that's my tip to you guys. Like, you do not have to put up with other people's BS because they're miserable and, you know, what else could it be? Like, you don't even know me. I didn't do anything to you. But you have this horrible attitude. You're miserable. The thing is, I've never, like, even when I'm going through something, I do not take my anger out on people I don't know. Like, you know, like, when I'm going through something, 
I don't take it out like on my classmates or people I work with. Like, so her doing that, it's embarrassing for her. It's really embarrassing. Cause why did I have to do that? Why did I have to kill that lip? Like I look freaking, the lip always brings it together. Always. One thing the lip gonna do is bring the look together. And I'm gonna leave my hair like this because it's cute. It's kind of hot in this bathroom. So I don't want to put my hair in my face, but this is cute. Like, let me stop. Cause what if my makeup look off? Let me stop. Okay, but yeah, this is my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like these. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love.